On Tuesday, Wisconsin Democrats launched a last-ditch effort to ram through controversial labor contracts before Governor-elect Scott Walker and Republican lawmakers take control next month. In the morning, the AFL-CIO staged a press conference presenting a parade of everyday union workers to plead its case to the media. I'm here today to ask the governor and the legislators to pass my contract, which we already have been honoring. But never in my career had, would I have expected that I'd have to stand up in the state capitol to ask my employer, my state, to act on a simple employment contract that's two years late in coming. And that's all they had to say about that. Do you plan on taking any questions? The only thing I'd like to say on behalf of all of the employees that are covered under the state contract is we're not here to bicker politically about what's right or what's wrong. But in the back of the room, labor leader Marty Beal couldn't help himself. Uh, all Walker wants to do is appear on Fox and Friends in the morning with his buddy from uh, New Jersey and uh, a couple other right-wing wackos. Meanwhile, the press conference organizer, Jose Busillo, wasn't going to get off the hook so easily. You know, there's a lot of talk out there that these negotiations were held, you know, upheld, were delayed until after the elections. Uh, what happened from your perspective? I couldn't tell you. I'm not part of those negotiations. I'm just a representative from AFL-CIO, and, you know, they have their own negotiating team. The uh, employees that are elected by them and also the state legislators elect who they have, you know, doing their process. So I'm not involved in it. I could then do. a subtle attempt to shake further questions. Hey, um, I wasn't done yet. Okay, thanks. Regardless, the labor representative said he really didn't know much about the negotiations anyway. Who have you been working with in the legislature to try to get the, push these negotiations get passed? I'm not working with anybody right now. What was the point of this press conference? It was put out there in a press release. So you've got all your the legislature could vote on the contracts as early as Wednesday. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.